doesn't get much better than this. Afternoon baseball from Rick. Here's Starling Marte, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. Leading off for the Pirates. Taken, and that one catches the bottom part of the strike zone. Dan, d the Cubs, as they take the field here this afternoon, all you can really say is they've been on one heck of a run. Matty, this is the best team in baseball right now. I, I mean, just a double-digit winning streak that, I mean, maybe happens to two or three teams a year you get this hot. This team is rocking in no, all facets out. right now, and they're a fun watch. One ball and two strikes to count. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. And this is swung on and missed on a great pitch that time. And the leadoff man is down on strikes to get this one started. A chance here to check out the starting lineup for the, the right visiting fielder. Pirates. Who do you no, have your eye on, Dan? Cabrera. Well, definitely watch out for Corey Dickerson. He's certainly a guy to watch out there in this lineup. Everything he does makes them click. When he's swinging the bat well, they just go. Well, that's what's so disappointing that as a third. pitcher, d -Row. You the make a really man. good pitch, and Adam. yet this guy's so big and so strong, he's able to muscle it into right Going field one. for a base hit. Yeah, you hand your batting gloves to the first base coach right there, and you thank your lucky stars. That's a nice A-B. Protecting on 0-2, so we'll do it again. Cabrera, base runner at first with one out. And it's one oh. and two. That turns out to be a good take on that front door breaking ball, but you have to wonder if that pitch nope, buckled them at all. That was ball. really close to clipping the inside corner. And he got him. At the plate, Corey Dickerson. He takes his first cuts order. in this one with a Corey man at first and two away. Dickerson. A runner on first with two away. That misses nope. wide. Oh. One ball and one strike. Zero. Swing and a miss on a pitch outside. One and two now. One ball, two strike. Hard sinker two, two. misses. Two and two. Nope. Cutter oh. and it doesn't make it back. Three and Countful. two. Well, this has been a good at bat. He's now worked to count full to three and two. Four. It allows the runner on first to be on the move with two away. And awfully close there on three and two, but that take your it. base, says Earl Hendricks. Yeah. It's ball four. Francisco no balls and a strike Savelli. to count. Comes set, the 0 1, and it's fouled away. Two down, runners at first and second. Ready on 0-2. In the air to center. On the run is Almora. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. In now, Kyle Schwarber. He begins this one with the fourth best For batting the average in the National League. The this guy's had a super Kyle. season. So Taken high Schwarber. and deep to right. Cabrera going back at the track. The wall. And that one is gone. Batting second. Here's Javier stop. Baez. Javier. He hits Baez. it hard on the ground to the left. And that'll just sneak past his outstretched arm, a base hit. Batting Here's Chris third. Bryant now. The One of the baseman. better hitters in the game this Ray. year, currently seventh in the oh, National yeah. League batting race. He's going. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Strike called. Now the throw down is going to be far too late. That's a stolen base. He's going, he's oh going, and he's one, going. here it comes. And now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. Oh, oh and he has some trouble with it. Here it comes on nothing and two. Soft liner toward first, but no problem at first, and that's the first out. Now it's throw to second, and it turns into a double Batting play. Court. The hit and run the backfires as he gets Anthony. hung out to dry on the line drive. Rizzo. And now time to check how Joe Madden has lined the Cubbies up in this one. d -Row, what do you got in this lineup in the series opener? Maddie, this team has high back. And the throw is in time to get him to retire the side. 
striding in for his first at bat. Josh Bell and he's a guy that's really scuffling at the plate right now. Rizzo is there and he'll take this to the bag himself and the leadoff man set down to start the second. Batting seven. So one away here with the bases Colin. empty, and that'll bring Moran. up Colin Moran. Right. And a nice changeup that time from Lester to start things out. It's 0-1. Swings through it for strike number two. Moran can be considered a bit of a one-dimensional hitter, I guess, in terms of making contact. He tends to see the ball out of right-handed pitcher's hands well, but doesn't seem to pick up the left-handers at the same level. Chopped toward the second baseman. Garcia charging in on it oh. and the off balance throw gets him nice play for the out batting it digging the in Kevin shot. Kramer will Double work on keeping this top of the second alive now One a curveball misses inside And that's right there and we're even at one one and one second inning here as the Cubs lead this one early one nothing off ball. the outside that time as Two the breaking ball count. can't catch the zone. Ah. In there, two and two. Here's Lester now on two and two. Swing and a miss at a big breaking ball, and that's how the inning comes to. Digging in, Wilson Contreras. The average Leading remains off. a very big bright spot for him at the this catcher. point in the season. Wilson. Just under 400. John Lofted Rara. in the air out toward right center. Cabrera's there, looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Batting six. Here's Jason right Hayward fielder. now. He enters play Jake at said. number six in National Hayward. League batting average. There's no way you could have forecasted this kind of season from this guy. Not to take anything away from him, but I don't think many people in baseball considered him to be one of the league's best hitters for Batting average seven. coming into the this year. Baseman, number 16. Now to the plate, Garcia. First offering on its way. Swung on and missed. It's 0-1. And guys, as we take a look at the Pirates coming into this afternoon, they do come in fresh off a of victory last time out, but they've been giving ground in the division of late. They've won just twice in their last seven games. Yeah, Maddie, they got beat up on the homestand. Losing record in front of the home crowd, never good, but I always used to... And great extension as he drives this one high in the air and deep the other way. Into the bleachers and gone! So that's his first home run in the big leagues, and it's fair to say it's a moment he'll never forget. Well, there's no doubt about that, Matt. People ask him 50 years from now who he hit it off of and what stadium he was playing in, and he'll remember it all. Heck, he'll probably remember what kind of pitch it was, too. Hopefully he can get the ball back so that can go in his trophy case forever. Batting it. And now here's the versatile Albert. outfielder, Albert Almora Albert. Jr. Swing and a line drive. He'll try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Behind 0-2 now. Might have been cheating for another fastball trying to get the head to that one early. Pitcher pulled the string with a nasty breaking ball and had him a little bit out in front. Hit out towards second. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. Batting nine. The pitcher. So here now is the pitcher, John Lester. Lester. And he's carrying a batting average of just over 300. Going, so clearly he's been a productive yeah. player with the bat in his hand so far. Nope. Uh, the Thanks. throw pulls him off the bag. Liner towards second. Throw on to Bell at first, and the side is retired. And now it's the Pirates pitcher, Chad Cool. Nine, one, and two do up. This one's yeah. down to third. Cool. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Now batting. The up next fielder. for the Buccos, Starling, Starling Marte, who looked Marte. to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Garcia scoops it up, throw gets yep. him, two down. Now batting. Right At the fielder. plate, Melky Cabrera. Melky. He reached on a Cabrera. single in his first try. Yeah, guys, still the only That's hit the in this game so far. 
They've been pretty well know. shut down. Guys on the mound have really much controlled the whole outcome up until this point. Here's a swing and a miss, one and one. Two out, nobody on. Two balls and a Ball strike to Melky Cabrera. To two, two and, and two, two now. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. I know there's two outs right here, but your job is the number two hole hitter, especially with the monsters hitting behind you. Find a way to get on base, maybe a little two out lightning on the horizon. A bouncer to the left side. Throw in time and the side is retired. We're just about set to go here as the Cubs come to bat in the third inning. And Chicago fans have been fortunate to watch one of the best offenses around this season. In fact, Leading with the highest the team Cubs. batting average, on-base percentage, no and there. slugging percentage in all of Major League Baseball, it's Whoa. probably safe to say they have the absolute best offense in the sport these days. As one player told me earlier, yeah, I mean, you don't have to dig too deep into the stats to understand the level we're playing at. We now have a special batting. group, Short we know stop. it, and we I'll still think here. we can get better. Safe I'll to say no one else around the league hopes they can, guys. All right, Heidi, thank you. Steel. And now the runner's trying for third. Try to bunt for a base hit here as he gets this one down. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Now Stepping into the box, baseman. Chris Bryant. Chris Bryant. He's set. Here it comes. Hot shot on the ground is short. Kramer fields it cleanly. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. The batter. At the plate, the Anthony baseman. Rizzo. He'll try Anthony. and start things over now with the bases Rizzo. empty and two away following the RBI ground ball. Hit sharply on the ground. And the throw from shallow right in time at first. Leading off the inning, Adam Frazier, as they'll Pittsburgh. look to get something going here baseman. and even this game up. Adam. And this one's nowhere Frazier. close as that bounces to the plate for ball one. And that pitch misses in the dirt, and it's 2-0 and now. You know, sometimes it takes a pitcher a few pitches to get going, but those two pitches weren't even close. Ball's behind in the count, 2-0. and It's time to start getting locked in. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem now over there at first as they record the out. Corey. So with that, let's call Dickers on the guys in the graphics department to put up the pitch speed comparison for the two starters. And both of these guys bringing it pretty good. 97 and 93 is the top recorded speed so far. And Dickerson behind 0-2 now. He's attacking this hitter a lot more aggressively than he did the first time when he faced him and issued a walk, coming right after him here. Bases are empty, one man out. Grounder down the line at third, but this will be a foul ball, and it's still 0-2. And he looks at a sinker for a called third strike, and now there are two gone. So bases are empty here with now two batting. gone, and that'll bring up the right-handed hitting Francisco Cervelli. Cervelli. On the ground to third, does he have another 1-2-3 inning? He most certainly does. Here's the young catcher, Wilson Contreras. 0 for 1 Cubs. for him here in this one. The one catcher. of the keys to securing Wilson. a win. They want to keep the pressure John on Rarek. and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. But an atom ball right to him for the first out. The batter. The right fielder. Jason. So coming to the plate, Jason Hayward. Hayward. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Pitch on the way. Now there's a swing by Hayward as he mashes this ball out to deep right field. And that'll hit off the Ivy out there. And he's in there easily at second with a one-out double. Well, he's it? certainly not shy, Number is he? 16. He goes up there looking to be aggressive and takes a big rip right here. Squares it up and lines it for a double that goes all the way to the wall. Great work out of him. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. We've seen these guys go deep three times so far in this one, guys. 
D Rose, some days the fellows walk in with their hitting shoes on, and this a looks like one of those games. Number yeah, well, there's a saying going around the dugout right now. There's a fight at the bat rack. Everybody wants a chance to get into that batter's box. And there are two away now. Now batting. And now the, the pitcher. Cubs pitcher, John Come Lester. On. He's 0 for 1 after Lester. grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Yeah, Matty, and it looked like a sinker in his last AB that got him to roll over. Kind of similar situation right here. Similar stuff on the mound. Look for them to try and get him to do exactly the same thing as his last AB. He's got to fight to get it elevated just a little bit more. From the stretch. Oh, and a hearty cut there to begin the at-bat. It's nothing in one. Sometimes it's all about the stuff you have on a particular day. You take a look inside the numbers. 100% of his first pitches to batters have been for strikes, but the quality hasn't been there. He's going to have to make some changes to turn this one around. And a relay to the plate. Oh, but the throw will be well up the line as he scores easily. Well, if he wants to hit for the cycle and get in the history books, Shortstop. he's got the hardest three Off parts of it out of the way. Normally, Five this yeah. is the toughest leg to get, but he stands at third and now, now only needs a single Pittsburgh. to make some history. Number Tyler 70. Lyons answers the call from the pen here Lyons. in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from their starter. Now the 0-2 pitch. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And that one is gone on a two-strike count with two away in the inning. Now batting. The Into the box baseman. now, Chris Bryant. Red. As he swings and grounds it toward the hole. Gets dirty and gloves it in time. The defense on display on this beautiful diving stoppage. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Matt, I had a chance to catch up with manager Clint Hurdle during the commercial break about the Pirates offense. And one thing he mentioned to me was the lack of discipline he's seeing out of their at-bats right now. He said their pitch Leading selection has been the main reason for their the struggles base, today, as yeah. far too often they've been swinging Donna. at pitches outside the strike zone. That's leading to a lot of soft contact and easy outs. Ball. So the focus going forward one on one. is on shrinking the zone and forcing the opposing pitching to throw more strikes. All right, thanks, Heidi. One and two one now. Two. And he struck him out. A look at our line score here through the first four. Is. And as Third we've mentioned, man. just one hit All for in. these guys this afternoon. So digging in now, Colin Moran. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Now Lester's 0-1. Well, and he's got him in the palm of his hand now. It's 0-2. Man, that's another ugly swing right there. This team is just struggling so mightily to get on base. They've looked off balance all game. And another foul ball. No runs, just one hit, and no errors so far for the Pirates. Rolled slowly down the third baseline, but this will wind up foul, still 0-2. Struck him out. So another exceptional effort for him on the mound. Now He's got the shutout Number working 44. here, as we'll show you the league ERA leaders. And as you see, he's Here's right up there among league leaders in that department. 0-1 the count. The 0-1. A swinging oh, strike, and now it's 0-2. Hey, this offense needs to check themselves right now. They have to... And we'll have to leave it there, as this is strike three, and that... Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. 
Thanks, Matt. Between innings, I was able to discuss the current state of the Cubs lineup with manager Joe Madden. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. Top to bottom, he Leading said his guys have been Cubs. picking on the right pitches to swing at, baseman. and they've done a nice job Anthony. of using the whole field. He said Russell. that always seems to be a recipe for success, and their seven extra base hits in this one are evidence that it has been. Thank you, Heidi. And the Cubs could be onto something here. It's a leadoff double. The catcher, number 40. Ready for another shot Wilson. now. Wilson Contreras. John he has Rara. flied and lined out in two trips in this one. Sent in the air out to straightaway central. Marte is under it. He makes the catch, and the runner from second will tag and head for third. And he'll get into third here on the flyout, so he's 90 feet away here with one gone. Now, batting, right fielder. now with the plate, Jason Hayward in head-to-head -head action against Tyler Lyons. He's gone just two for 13. But this is going to be hauled in out there at second base for out number two. Now batting. Number 16. Digging in once again. Garcia, runner in scoring position with two gone. This guy's having a pretty good week so far in one game. His last at bat is second home run of the game. We'll see if they'll pitch him a little bit more carefully in this A.B. Moran on the move. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Elias Diaz will Your grab a bat and please. lead things off here in the Good top of the, the sixth. Pirates. Number 32, Elias. Hey, in there Diaz. for strike one. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ball game for him. So the Pirates batting the order field turns field over field. and set to go. Starling Marte. No Marte. hits for him to this point. Not unlike many of his fellow teammates. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. One out. Nobody on. Boy, and they cannot touch him right now five straight strikeouts on the ledger and there are two away so the shutout right still fielder. intact here in the sixth Melky. as we check out the Cabrera. league leaderboard for team era and we find that this pitching staff currently leads the nl in that department mm, a little tardy there no balls and a strike oh man he's got a chance to strike out the side on nine pitches seven down two to go lester's 2-0 home and my goodness, how about this? He struck out the side and back to Your Michael Feliz please. gets the call to now pitch here, and he'll try to Pittsburgh. sort this mess out. Number He's going to try to at least eat a Michael couple of innings for his guys. Feliz. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Skied into straightaway right. Cabrera's there. And that's the first out of the inning. Now batting, the pitcher, John Lester. Ready once again, John Lester. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Under it now is Marte to pull it in for route number two. Now batting, left fielder. So in now Kyle. for Chicago, Kyle Schwarber. Whoa. And if you've been following along, you know he needs only the single to complete a cycle. Ready to deliver, here's the first pitch. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. Schwarber connects and sends a ball to deep right field. And that's off the scoreboard. What a blast. A solo home run for Kyle Schwarber. His second home run of the game as they've pushed this lead up to nine now.
The batter number nine, shortstop Javier. Stepping in now, Javier Baez. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Mm, definitely had the distance, but it winds up a foul ball. The 0 1 pitch. Line drive to center field. Marte is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Stepping in, Adam Frazier. He's headless in his two at bats so far. Baseman. Starting to run Adam out of time. They haven't been able Frazier. to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. To his right, Rizzo. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Now batting. So striding in, Corey Dickerson. He got called Dickerson. out on strikes his last time through. A swing and a ground ball to third. Bases are empty, one man out. And a pitch one in the ball, dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. Well, there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. If he's going to have the ability to flip that in there whenever he wants, this is going to be a tough test. A bouncer up the middle. Baez ranging to his right. Throw gets him. Oh. Two down. Now batting. The catcher. First pitch of the Francisco at bat on its way. There's a good breaking ball as it gets the bottom of the zone. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. No Boy, strike. he's been great in this one. He's only one strike away from putting another zero on the scoreboard. Foul ball! Here's a breaking oh, ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. Tried to get him to chase that 0-2 curveball there, but he wasn't two, biting. Two. Very well could see it again here, though. Two balls and two strikes the count of the Pirates catcher. And this will oh, miss God. down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at 3-2. and two. Wow, from 0-2 to 3-2, and, two, oh, and oh, that oh, last pitch on 2-2 two and two wasn't even close. He had this guy in the ropes, but now he let him right back into this at bat. The first baseman, number 55. Slow roller out to short. And as it turns out, the two-out walk doesn't come around. Digging in now, Chris Bryant. He'll be the man to lead things off here in the bottom of the seventh. This guy has been unbelievable. There were billboards outside Wrigley while he was still in AAA. And what does he do when he shows up? Rookie of the year, MVP. I mean, get in line. Boy, d -Row, there's a case of the outfield defense playing Number so deep that Number that 44. ball looked like it was extra Anthony. bases all the way, but they were able Let's to cut go. it off. Yeah, not too many times I would agree. I, I, I'd i love to hear your take on this as well. The no doubles defense, I, I, I kind of never understood it to begin with. I felt like the pitcher, if he can execute the game plan, could keep the ball in front of the outfielders, but right there, boy, I was wrong. That worked. He's working on a one for three oh. thus far. He pulls this one into right. Cabrera is there, and he makes the catch for the out. The catcher, number 40, Wilson Contreras. Into the box now, Wilson Contreras. He's hitless coming into this at bat, so the hit streak he's been riding is on the line here. Yeah, he's up in the double digits with it. You know he wants to keep it going as long as possible, but this very well could be the last chance to do that. Here's the first pitch to him. Line to the right side. In there, a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Now batting, right fielder. Now at the plate, Jason, Jason Hayward. He's got a Hayward. hit in three at-bats to this point. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. On the ground is short. This could be two. But the feed to the second baseman is a wide one. And he's in safely to third as a run will score on the play as well. The Richard Rodriguez comes on to pitch now, hoping for better please. results than the other now arms that they've Pittsburgh. run out there in this one. Number 48. Garcia Richard will stand in looking for Rodriguez. home run number three as we take it back to inning number four. And this was his second home run of the game as he's been dialed in so far in this one.
Here's the 0 1 pitch. Popped him up. Bell has a play. Two down. The center fielder. Stepping five. in, Albert Almora. It Albert. was a flyout for Albert him in his Mora. last trip. First pitch coming. Here it is. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. And that's going to be off the ivy covered wall. And the second run no. will score as well. Throw won't get him. I thought this was getting now, ugly when they scored double the digits in runs, but Shaw. they tack on a couple more here Lesser. to make it an even dozen. You're going to win about 99% of the games when you score 12 runs. Simple as that. Digging in, John Lester. He's been great on the mound, so we'll see if he can do something with the bat here as well. He's earned a chance runner, to take runner, this runner. at bat. Yeah, Matt, when a guy's throwing the ball as well as he has. And hold on there. That's not going to get him in there with the stolen base. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Oh, two. And here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind nothing in two. Three runs already home here. High in the air out to center field. Marche is under it. And the inning is over. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Colin Moran. He went down on strikes last game. time up. Oh, Colin and ouch, that one drilled him. Moran. No chance to make a play. Let's see if he's okay out there. Now batting. Now batting, Kevin Kramer. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Strike one to start the at bat. Now Lester's 0 1. Behind 0 and 2 now. 0 oh, and 2 count. Here's the pitch. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this Ladies one. And gentlemen, Lonnie Chisenhall will be summoned off the pinch bench here as he'll Pittsburgh. pinch hit with a runner at first and one gone in the inning. Lonnie no balls and a strike to count. Down and away, one, one. ball one. Moran leads off first with one away. That's back toward the mound. This will be a tough turn, however. The center fielder, number six, Starling Marte. On his way Your toward the mound please. now is skipper Joe now Madden. For the and I believe that's going to be all for John Lester. Pedro. Tried to check it, and it's 0-1. A 1-1 count no, to the Pirates, Pirates leadoff hitter. 1-1. One one. Now a swing and a deep drive to left, and it ain't coming back. Into the bleachers and out of here. Here's Melky Cabrera. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Ready with the 0 2. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Three runs, three hits, and two errors on the Pirate Ledger so far. The next 0 2. Another one sent foul. The 0 2 once more. And he fouls this one off. Six fouls in a row. This is turning into one of those epic at bats. Who's going to blink first? Is the pitcher going to continue to attack the zone or is the hitter going to come outside nope. it? Ball. Trying to get Cabrera to chase there, but it's one and two. And Ball, he lays off outside. a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Wow, this is an unbelievable at bat. I mean, talk about a battle. This is it. Love it. And he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. Now batting. So striding forward base. now, Adam, Adam Frazier. Not providing Frazier. much out of the three hole in this one. Hitless in three at-bats so far. 
Here's the 0-1. Fouled off. Now a ball sliced out of play down the left field line. Bases are empty here with two men out. Here's a swing and a high pop-up. Baez is under it. And that ends the inning. Keone Kella please. enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the, the deficit right where it is. Number 35. So Keone coming to the play, Kyle Kella. Schwarber. And he's got the tough ones out of the way. Only a single, and he'll have the cycle. A swing, and this one is blasted to right field. Nothing's going to stop it. Into the bleachers and gone. The batter number nine. Shortstop. In now, Javier Baez. As he rips Baez. it on the ground to second. And a good effort on the dive that time, but this will get by him for a base hit. Every game the pitcher gets the lineup card, he circles the now guy that, that can't beat him. Well, obviously, he didn't circle Red. this guy. That's his third knock of the game, oh, and yeah. he has been on fire lately. Steel, steel, Into steel. the box, Chris Bryant. Yeah. In there, now the throw. You're a ball is right. in time from Cervelli to get him. behind 0-2 now. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, d -World, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get... High and deep to center field. Marte is there. And he brings it in on the warning track. The first baseman, number 44, Anthony Rizzo. Now the Cubs' four-hole hitter, Anthony Rizzo, hit the ball pretty well in his last at-bat, but it resulted in a line-out. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the result sometimes, Matty. Just unlucky with the placement. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Fouled away. The 0 1 pitch. Oh, this ball is hammered to deep center field. And bye bye, that one's gone into the bleachers. Ladies and gentlemen, Felipe Vasquez comes please. on to pitch now, hoping now for better results than the Pirates. other arms that they've Number run out there in this one. Into the box now, Wilson Contreras, as the first pitch to him is swung oh on and missed for strike one. In prior matchups with Felipe Vasquez, he's hitless in six tries. This is skied out toward right. And he'll pull this one down a step or two in front of the warning track, and the inning is over. So two runs come across here, both coming via the solo home run. Ninth inning coming up. The Cubbies are... So now it'll be the four home... Leading off for Pittsburgh. The left field Kyle Ryan Corey comes on from the pen, Dickerson. hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Grounded down the third baseline, but this is foul for the first strike. But this will get foul for strike two. And a You're swing right. and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. A reminder Up that full highlights come your way as we'll look back the at the key moments of the Francisco matchup from here in Chicago. Cervelli. Here's the catcher, Francisco Cervelli. It was a walk in his last trip. Good yeah. way to start it on the outside corner for strike one. Great spot with that pitch down and away. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep Here hitting that spot. Swing and a miss. It's 0-2. Oh, one out, nobody on. 
skied into very shallow right. Hayward is over, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. The first baseman, number 50. Josh Bell, the next Josh to hit. Bell. Swing and a miss on the sinker, 0 and 1. Hey, that was a nasty pitch right there. It's the depth of a sinker. Sometimes it's a matter of whether or not it's moving east west, but that one right there had such good downward action. Great pitch. Behind 0 and 2 now. A crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. Pittsburgh down to their last strike. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. 14 to 3 is the final score in this one.